Hello, in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Global Cache IP to serial device to talk over IP from Wireless Designer to a Global Cache box. So go to the Global Cache website, go to Products, and choose ITash Models. Now if we scroll down, you notice they have Wi-Fi to IR or IP to IR or IP to IR with uh, power over Ethernet. We are interested in this particular device, IP to serial. Of course, you could use IP to serial with PoE or Wi-Fi. The IP to serial is a very simple device, very small. It'll fit in the palm of your hand. And what it allows you to do is simply hook it up to your network connection and it exposes a serial port. So now we can talk from Wireless Designer directly to a serial-based device, in this case, the Venue Wideband Receiver. Now, once you do that, you can go to Docs and Downloads, and there is a helper app that you can get for the IP to serial device. And that helper app is called iHelp iHelp will discover the IP to serial device on your network and give you its IP address. In order to get iHelp on the Mac, you need to first go to the App Store and we can type in Global Cache, hit return, and you'll see all of the utilities. iHelp being the one that you want. The app is $1.99. I have, currently have an update. Once you download iHelp, what you can do is move it down to your dock. I have iHelp right here, and then you can launch. That's all it takes to get iHelp on the Mac. Now I have the Global Cache device connected to my network, and if I click on iHelp, it brings up a little utility, and it can take up to a minute, but it'll look over your network and try and find the device. It found it actually, itash IP to serial, and there's its IP address, 10.0.1.2. However, I don't know the baud rate of that port. So I can select the device. If you had more than one, they would all appear in this window. I can right click and say, let's configure. And the little device will serve me a web page. I want to go to serial, and I want to select the baud rate of 57.6, which is what we need to talk to the wideband receiver. Uh, the rest is 8 and un 1. It's all standard. And at that point, we click Save. It'll save that information to the device. Also, you can look at your network information. And you can set up authentication so you can have a username and password so it's protected as well. Once we've done that, then we can go into Wireless Designer. I'll close this window for now. And within Wireless Designer, we can say Connect or Select Connect, Connect via Network. And I'm going to type in the IP address, which is 10.0.1.2, which we saw in the window from iHelp. And the port number for the Global Cache for a serial device is always 4999. Once I do that, I can click on search and notice it finds the wideband receiver. Now I'll click OK and it is going to make a connection and we can see that I have three modules in there and that's all it takes and now you're ready to use Wireless Designer with the wideband venue receiver.